Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, we're at Silverbridge Peaks and we're making a brand new mountain goat guide for 2022. Now, there's been lots of updates recently, so I'm making all new guides for all the species in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So if you want to see anything guide wise for any species, drop it in the comments and I'll try and make that happen. Now, in our last guide, I was hunting mule deer. Check that out if you've already seen it on Silverbridge Peaks. And I'm covering all the species on Silverbridge Peaks. I've been slaughtering mountain goats, trying to find all the best locations. And I have found all the locations where you can find them. I'll make a map, show you that in a minute. But uh, there's not many locations that are actually on Silverbridge Peaks. So that's actually good because they're easy to locate. They also have quite a long drink time. And that's what we're hunting them at. Uh, 9 a.m. till 11 30 so that's when they go to drink so that's quite a long time and there's not many locations so that means they're quite easy to find so let's have a look what we can see so we hello <laughs> right on cue right on cue well played there Ron um, <laughs> no I didn't know that was there um, I'm, I'm surprised I've been slaughtering honestly for about three or four days I've just been slaughtering them it's been an absolute bloodbath and that's the good thing about Silverbridge Peaks it's a bit more casual it's not like Hirschfeld when you've got to really sweat Silverbridge Peaks is a nice casual fun reserve and we've just nailed a level 5 there with a 308 so will he be a diamond so if you want to get a diamond man to go here's what you do so you get your gun you're going to use I've got a 308 and you go to these five or six locations which I'll show you in a minute and you just slaughter as many males as you can see it doesn't matter if there's one groups of them just slaughter all the males and then go to the next lake and just keep going around in like a loop and clearing the hunting pressure as you go and then drop back onto lakes with no hunting pressure and they will have to come back there because there's only five or six locations they come to so 9 a.m. to 11.30 allow a little time for them to get where they need to be so I normally start 15 minutes to 30 minutes into the need zone time for drinking on animals because I know they'll be at that location where I'm visiting let's go over some of the stats for the mountain goat so they go up to 145 kilo they're the big boys 107.6 is what it takes to make a diamond 9 a.m. to 11.30 is the drink zone time on Silverbridge Peaks so we've covered all the data for them have we got a potential diamond? I can't get his, uh, his stats coming up. It's, it's quite frustrating, but sometimes it can be like right next to another one. You just can't get it. It's kind of, kind of frustrating, but that's just got a bit of a bush or something in front of it. But if you want to see any other Silverish Peaks guides, because I'm, because I'm on here, basically I'm going to be doing Pronghorn next, Rocky Mountain, Elk. A lot of people ask for that. Or Turkey, maybe. What do you want to see next out of those three? Drop in the comments and I'll make that happen. So, have we got a diamond mountain goat? Fingers crossed. There is rare varieties as well. I've not had any rare ones yet. That is a diamond mountain goat. He scored 111. So, there we go. They are absolute tanks. Beige, that one is. As you can see, 107.60 is what you need. We got 111. So, he went over and he looks... He looks like... Ugh. <laughs> If you run up and down mountains all day long, you'd uh, have big muscly arms and shoulders and legs. I wonder what they taste like. Are they nice to eat? Does anyone know? Drop it in the comments. You can guess I'm hungry. <laughs> right, let's look at locations. Now we've got our diamond mountain goat out of the way. And show you where they are. So, here we go. They're mainly, it's this simple, in the mountains. They're mountain goats, so you'd expect them to see them there. But uh, this lake here, this lake here is absolutely amazing. We shot a diamond mule deer there as well, so it's good for mule deer. That location there, I've got a 500 meter plus shooting range set up there. Check that guide out, if you've already seen it. It's really good for mountain goats. So that one, that one, and Sun Sisters here. So there's not many locations. They're mainly in the mountains, and they just have to come down to these lakes. And that's a good thing. You can just slaughter as many as you want. And they're going to have to come back, respawn at those, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six lakes. So I'm going to make a detailed image to show you exactly where it is, um, just so you can see it easier. I know it'd be lovely if we had a, a tool in game like Classic, so we can actually draw in game on the map, so I could show you a lot simpler. But what we'll do is 
we'll make an image and I'll show you the locations. So red locations no mountain goats, white location that's where the mountain goats are. Pretty simple, six lakes to focus on. Drink time is 9 a.m. to 11.30. Allow a little time, use an ethical weapon. Their tracks go up to 145 kilo. That's what you're looking for for the big boys, level fives. Um, diamond score, 107.6. So, good luck on Silverbridge Peaks. Let me know how you get on. I'm Ron McTube. We've been doing a mountain goat guide for 2022. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.